become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. How are you getting along with your paper? I haven't finished it. It is very difficult. You should hand it in before next Sunday. Oh, I know. I will try my best. I believe you can do a good job. Let's program your courses. Since you have had English literature, you should take American literature and American prose and fiction. You transcript indicate that your English background is strong, so I don't think you have any problem with it. How many credits for each course? Three. You also should take two three credit course in education department. Thank you, sir. I'm sure I will. What is the best place to park? What vehicle do you usually bring to school? Is it an automobile or a motorbike? I drive a motorcycle. Okay, that means you can park in the student lot or on the street. Have you seen the handicapped spots? I am not sure what a handicapped spot is. Look for the blue signs and blue marked spaces. Do you usually park in the daytime or the evening? I park days and evenings. Be careful about the time limits on the streets. Have you seen the signs for time limits? What signs? As long as you are careful reading the signs, you will always know how long you can park and what days are okay to park there. Are you aware of the curb colors? What curb colors? If you can remember that red means absolutely no parking and white means that you can only load and unload, you are going to be okay. Lucy, you're back. How was your first day of school? It was great. I had a really good time. What classes did you have? Well, I had English from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock, art from 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock, and math from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock. What do you think about the teachers? To be honest, I liked all of them, except for the math teacher. Though he must be quite young, he seemed like an old person. He's so boring. That's too bad. How was your English teacher? She was great. In today's class, she gave us a lecture on how to be a good student. She told us not to arm for exams, and to pay more attention on communicating than memorizing. Where is she from? She said that she's from a small town in the middle of America. Were you able to understand everything that she said? Not everything, but nearly. She speaks very clearly and doesn't use very complex words so that it is easy for us to understand her. She sounds like a good teacher. Do you think you'll pass her class? Yes, with flying colors. What does that mean? It's a new phrase that she taught us today. It means that I will not only pass the class, but I will do extremely well. If you like the class this much already, I'm sure you will. I hope so. Did she give you any homework? Not today. She said she wanted us to relax tonight instead of doing homework. No wonder you like the class so much. How did you do on your belts exam? Fantastic. I got an overall score of 8. That's excellent. Have you received your conditional offers yet? Yes. I'm just waiting until I officially get admitted to the university with a conditional offer to apply for my visa.
Do you know where the visa office is? No. It's just near the Dong Si Shi Tiao subway stop. That's not too far away. Do you think I'll get a visa? Have you ever gone abroad before? Yes, I've been to Tailband, Egypt, and Japan. Have you ever been denied a visa before? Never. That's good. Are you planning on immigrating to another country? No, I want to come back to China after I graduate. That's exactly what the visa officers want to hear. Do you have enough money for tuition and room and board? I've received a full scholarship, so I won't need any other money to live off while I'm studying. I think you have a very good chance of getting a visa. I can help you prepare for the visa interview if you want. That's be great. The more prepared I am, the better. Hey Eve, how are you? I'm fine, Celia. And you? I'm okay. I'm so busy. Do you have a lot of homework? Yes. Don't you? Of course I do. Which class are you working on right now? I'm studying for my chemistry exam tomorrow. Are you in Mrs. Green's class? Yes. Are you? Yes. We must have the same exam tomorrow. Do you want to study together? Sure. This library is too quiet, though. Do you want to go to an empty classroom? That sounds good. Okay, let's go. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.